Hello friends, neighbors, Johnny Rich Neighbor here, welcome down to the Nook. Sunday, so we're shooting some samples. This looks an awful lot like a full bottle, and it is. Well, not full, but it's a bottle. But James gave it to me, and I haven't tried it yet. So in keeping with the spirit of samples, I'll be trying these for the first time. I'm going to talk this Bimber. I know there was, uh, there is some controversy, or specifically a part owner or past owner founder uh, was a criminal, but he's not part of Bimber anymore. And I don't know even how much he had to do with making this. So this is a single malt, an English single malt whiskey. So we'll talk about Bimber. This is just ex-bourbon. It was a, a bottle brought in by PWS Imports. Great guys. And then uh, I'm going to go to this Brooklady. It's from Andy. Uh, and it's a Wine of Leon exclusive, nine-year-old. And it's uh, finished or, or, no, maybe aged. I think it's aged in an X wine cask or maybe it's finished. I'll dig into it and maybe put it in the specifics. Either way, we're gonna talk single malt, we'll do English, we'll do a scotch, we'll go from there. Three, four. So let's talk Bimber. You know, I know right now, if you're going to hear about Bimber, it's going to be about controversy, uh, the past owner or part owner, and all of his problems and illegal proceedings has maybe nothing to do with what's in the bottle. I don't know. So I actually just want to talk this English whiskey. Uh, everything I've read about their website and that I've heard from other people when we're just talking the liquid is pretty interesting. You know, they... Uh, grow their own barley it says from our own farm and they do floor maltings they have their own cooperage got a couple of small pot stills really sounds like great quality English single malt which is pretty cool this is released just for Canada it's brought in by PWS Imports and I think it's 50 58.7 percent and it's just ex bourbon so it's going to be young because it's a young distillery and ex bourbon so I think I'm hoping haven't tried this yet. We're going to get a really good sense of the Bimber distillate, like just their core malt. What's it like? So let's dig in and see what it is. Light, sweet, uh, fruit sweetness. Yeah, very, very fruit sweet. I'm going to go with even as sweet as stone fruit. So a little bit more like orchard little pear, but then push into a stone. So maybe even a like an apricot. Well, not as rich as apricot, but like a white peach. Yeah, it's a white peach. So very sweet on the nose for me. Uh, and for 58%, now this bottle has been open for a while uh, before James brought it my way. So maybe it's had a good chance to air out, but let's give it a try. Cheers. In the palette. I get a really nice uh, graham cracker, very light cinnamon, a little bit of just that, that's that dust of oak spice in there, sweet malt, light fruit syrup. Wow, light, light fruit. Very interesting. I need to try another sip. Cheers. So I worked that around quite a bit to try to pull out some more layers. I'm finding that the core malt or distillate is a very gentle, um, it's not even chewy, it's just lightly coating, nice backbone of fruit, variety of almost tropical fruit flavors. The, you know, like, a, like that light peach isn't tropical, so I shouldn't say that light stone fruit flavors light orchard fruit flavors. Then the first thing I mentioned on the first sip were the spicing and that's where there's quite a backbone. Now maybe it's the percentage, 58% of, of some oak spicing. Some, some just, it's not peppery oak. It's not peppery at all, but it is, it's a little hot. It's a little young, but it's not young. Like sometimes when young barley for me goes into the grain bin. It's a very interesting note that I've had with very young barley. That's not what I'm getting here. I'm actually getting a surprisingly upfront mature palate. Like mature is maybe the wrong word, but it's it's well balanced. It's put together. It's structured. It doesn't have those things. 
But then there is a significant um, oak spicing that's not bad at all. It almost tastes like a super light but fresh oak. Like I, I know it's ex bourbon and that's where maybe some of those vanillas, I haven't mentioned that. There is some nice sweet aromatic vanilla in there just as it should be. I'm not getting caramel and toffee though. A little bit of vanilla and then oak. Anyways, I'm, I'm struggling I suppose with layers and depth. But it's gentle for 58%. Nice for a young whiskey. Boy, uh, I wish there was no controversy around here. Of course, I mean, uh, that needs to be dealt with. Because certainly an interesting malt. Very well put together. And I love that they're growing their own barley. They're even doing floor maltings. And they're even doing their own cooperage on site. I just think that's fantastic work. So... Hopefully the people that are just dedicated to this and working hard at this can come out under that controversy so we can just talk about this whiskey. So shifting gears to another, I'm going to say farm or small distillery, like Brook Laddy is, uh, is just an awesome distillery for me. Uh, this one is a Wine & Beyond exclusive that's a store here in Alberta, Canada, and it's a single cask, nine years old, and it's 59.8%. Now single cask, I know it's an experimental cask, and I don't even know how to say this wine because I'm not really a wine drinker. I know it's a white wine. Is it Jurkon, Jurkon, something like that? It's a white, dry wine, and it's spent nine years in that cask. Let's try this one on the nose. Oh, it is so, it is so different from this. Boy, coming back, this, this is really, I'm going to come back to that word. I'm going to say it's, it feels mature for a young whiskey, but this is very different and, and and on the nose it is it is definitely a, a, a wine influence but almost soured i'm gonna have to say that it's just almost like all those fruits just slightly soured that's what stood out immediately on the nose just a strong slightly um like an unsweet white grape but unsweetened like you know when you you, you think those grapes look great and you eat them and you're like those are a little tart. That's what the nose is. Let's try this on the palate. Slancha. It's got a lot more body in the palate. It's got a lot more heart and, and, and more malt and more chewy, balanced, oily nature. So it's got a lot of depth. In fact, it almost has more body than, than this one that I just compared it to. First thoughts on the palate though are again, like a like a, like a, and sour sounds like spoiled, so I should say tart, like a tart white wine, a tart grape. Another sip, cheers. This is a, a huskier malt. Um, It's un, like, I'm quite sure it's at least twice as old, even on, only at nine years, but I'm getting a bit of husk, a bit of nut oil, a bit of almond uh, in with this. I've got some almond, I've got some tart grape, I've got a little bit of a body and a husk. In, in, it's not as peppery, uh, not, not peppery. It's not as spicy as this one is over here. It's hot because it's 59%. It's, it's, it's got alcohol heat, it's got chest hug, but it actually is not leaning toward the spicy, which I think is also a part of the younger nature here. This has had a little more time in oak, but it's staying really true to that fuller body, richer mouthfeel, thicker, you know, tart and, uh, and, and nutty, interesting, nutty. It's coming back. It's almost into, into walnut, but it's got a lot of, you know, with, when the sweetness comes in, I'm going to say marzipan, but it really, for me, was more like, like almond and chewy and tart white grape. Huh. Interesting and very, very, very different and super light. They're both natural non-chill filter. I should have mentioned that about this. I'm pretty sure this is as well, although actually I don't have a confirmation on that. Unique samples, which is always the best part of samples. Well, friends giving you whiskey is the best part. And then trying something that you haven't had, you didn't anticipate really, you didn't you know, hold the bottle on the shelf, talk to other people, it just showed up as a lovely gift from a friend. Thank you, James and Andy. And then you try it for the first time. That's why I don't rate them with you guys. I try to get at flavors. It's always on the spot, which means sometimes I'm really nailing it and sometimes I'm struggling for words. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy sipping with you guys. Thanks for being here.